Hey what's up internet here I am again and in this time I'm gonna be showing you how to create a modern opener or slideshow inside After Effects. Hello guys this is Randy from Runs Graphics and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. So without any further ado, let's check what we are gonna be making today. create a new composition and I will name it placeholder 1 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 5 seconds duration and the color is white click ok I will go back to composition and create a new composition I will name it hexagon 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 5 seconds long click ok I will grab my shape tool and I will use polygon tool draw a shape like this you can press shift and control hold it up and down arrow key so that you will increase the segments or points of the sides of the shape you can also do it in here open the polystar one go to polystar path and then change the points to six and also change the rotation to zero and the outer radius i will change this to 200 press p on your keyboard for the position and I will just drag it on the left side corner of my canvas expand it again and go to this icon go to repeater and make the copy 7 and open this transform repeater 1 go to the X position make this 354 or maybe 352 make it closer a bit Go your player to about 2 seconds and 10 frames and create a keyframe on the start opacity and end opacity. Then move the playhead at the beginning of the timeline and make the opacity 0. And highlight these two keyframes. Move your playhead to about 10 frames and move the keyframes here to the 10 frames duration. So when we scrub our playhead, you can see that there is a nice animation on our opacity. So now I'm gonna close this one and highlight it again and go to edit and I will duplicate this one and I will highlight these keyframes. Move my plate to about 10 frames, drag it in here. Again, I will highlight these two keyframes below and I will drag it to the 10 frames duration. For the keyframes above, I will highlight it and I will drag it to the 20 frames duration to make an offset and then I will close this one I will expand it again go to transform drag it down here like this I will just move my play it forward to have a better view and I will adjust it on this side and drag it down I will just eyeball it like that then I will close it I will highlight the shape one layer and I will go to edit and duplicate it. I will drag it up above the shape layer too. Press you on my keyboard to see the keyframes and I will highlight the keyframes again here. Move my playhead to about one second and move these keyframes on the one second duration. Go to transform and drag the position of the shape down. I will move my playhead forward to see the shapes and I will just adjust it closer. That should be good enough. I will close it again. Then I will highlight the shape to layer and I will go to edit and duplicate it. Again I will drag this up above the shape layer 3. Then press you on my keyboard to see the keyframes and I will highlight it all. I will move my playhead to one second and ten frames and move these keyframes here again I will go to transform expand it and I will just drag it down again and 
I will highlight it all and press P for the position I'll just drag it up and then go open my placeholder one I will go open my assets folder go to image I will just drag this image down on my timeline press your keyboard S for the scale and scale it down go to composition and create a new composition I will name it media one same 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 5 seconds duration drag this placeholder one and also this hexagon I will drag it to my timeline and toggle switches in here to see the track mat so I will change this to alpha mat scrub our playhead you can see that the polygon is here already so I will open the placeholder one again and go to scale probably I have to scale this image just create a keyframe here and move your playhead at the beginning of your timeline increase it a bit probably 40 so if you use image different from mine it's up to you how big it is when you animate it so when we play this one you can see that there's an animation on our scale so i will open and go back to media one open the footage go to my rg bouquet and i will drag it down to my timeline i will right away pre-compose this uh, rg bouquet move all the attributes into the new composition and i will click ok so now when we scrub our playhead you can see that there is different color combination in here now so all i have to do is to go to effects and preset go to color correction i will just add a color correction on it curves i will just drag this rgb down a bit to make it darker now it's time for me to create a text so grab the text tool and i will type awesome i'll just use black on this one and i will click ok align it change the font size to 36 i will again grab my text tool and type opener will use the bold here and the size of the font is 100 I will go back to awesome I will change the letter from bold to regular then I will highlight the opener again and align it I will just drag this awesome down a bit I will highlight this awesome and go to my effects and preset and find random fade up then I will drag this effect on the awesome and I will highlight this awesome and press you on my keyboard to see the keyframes and I will just drag this at the beginning of my timeline and I will also apply this kind of effect on the opener I will highlight the opener and press you on my keyboard to see the keyframes and I will highlight these two keyframes drag it at the beginning of your timeline I will then change the color of this text I will go back to the character and change the color here from black to pinkish click ok and I will go to effects and preset perspective I will add drop shadow and I want the softness 10 and again I will expand this opener click this animate icon here go to tracking I will move my playhead about 2 seconds I will create a keyframe here then go back my playhead to the beginning of my timeline and make it like this so now I will go to layer and create a new camera I'm using 35mm 2 nodes camera click ok I will go back again to layer and create a null object I will toggle the switches in here make this a 3d layer also the text and also the hexagon and placeholder one then I will highlight these layers press P for the position I'll just highlight these two and I will change the position to about 2000 then again I will highlight it and press S on my keyboard for the scale I will just scale it up till it covers our canvas I will highlight these two texts I will change this Z position to negative 200 
I will highlight this awesome and I will just drag it up. Now I will parent the camera to the null object and press P on my keyboard for the position. I will move my player to about 10 frames. Create a keyframe in here and then move my player back at the beginning of my timeline and drag it down. There you go and then I will go to my project panel again. I will highlight this RGB key and I will drag it down to my timeline. Pre-compose it right away and I will name it RGB key. Move all the attributes into the new composition and click OK. Toggle switches in here and I will change this to screen. Color correction, herbs. I will just drag this down to make it darker a bit. So now when we scrub our playhead, you can see it's nice to look at right so now i'm gonna go back to project panel and create a folder i will name it scene one folder and i will just drag it outside of the asset and then highlight all these compositions and drag it down to my scene one folder i will close the asset folder and create a new folder and i will name it scene two I will open the scene one folder and highlight all the compositions in here. Go to edit and duplicate it. I will drag all the duplicated compositions to my scene two folder. I will close the scene one and double click my scene two compositions to open it up. I will first go to placeholder. I will delete this image. I will replace it with this image. I will drag it down to my timeline and press S on my keyboard for the scale. I will just scale it down a bit. And I will open the media too and all the compositions in here I will replace it with the compositions in scene 2 folder. I will press my keyboard alt and hold it and highlight this RGB key and replace it with the RGB key in here and the placeholder one I will replace it with the placeholder too. Do the same with the other compositions in here replace it. Color here is different so all I have to do is to delete this RGB K2 and highlight the opener and move my playhead forward. I just want to change this text to slideshow. And I will also highlight this one. I will change it to stylish. Press P on my keyboard for the position. Move your play at a 2 seconds duration. Create a keyframe here and then go back to the beginning of my timeline. Move it up. Should be high enough. All we have to do is to drag it down a bit. I will highlight these two compositions. Press R on my keyboard for the rotation and shift S for the scale. Create a keyframe on the 2 seconds duration for the Z rotation and on the scale. And then move my player back at the beginning of the timeline and I will change the Z rotation to 20 degrees. The scale I will change it to 300. So let's see. nice to look at eh so now i'm gonna close it close this one too then i will go to composition and create a new composition i will name it final the duration probably is 10 seconds and the width and height is 1920 by 1080p and then 30 frames per second click ok i will open the scene 1 folder and drag this media down also the scene 2 folder i will open it up and drag it into my timeline and move this layer to the 5 seconds duration and let's see what happens when we preview this one
nice so now guys our tutorial is done i hope that you are satisfied with it and don't forget to like subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading i also would like to invite you guys to be a member of my channel and if interested to join i will appreciate it a lot and i would rather say thank you for the channel support that i get from you because of it it does help me a lot in making more videos like this so my thoughts for today is that remember always guys that constant learning is a vital part in our daily life's workflow okay thanks guys for watching and i hope to see you next time god bless